Hello and welcome back to part 10, the final part of our Construct 2 tutorial to create a breakout clone. We're just going to do some finishing touches now. First, I'm going to start inserting some new objects. Uh, using Cooltext.com, I actually created some sprites, some images, with your standard like game over pause style messages. I'm just going to create all of those right now. Let's see, new sprite. It's going to load these in. See, press, I press P message. Now, Scryas construct program does in fact have a text object, but I'd like some special effects here, so I actually created my own text images to get it to look just the way I wanted. All right, getting close. Congratulations. Let's see, I need uh, two more. I press R. And one more. Click to start. All right. Let's make this a little smaller. I'm going to start positioning these. I'd like this one to be in the middle. I'll move these two up a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to put this one right here. These aren't all going to be visible at the start of the game. I'll just move these out of the way. Let's see. And press R to restart. Alright. Should really rename these. So I know what they are. It's hard for me to even read it here. This one must be text press to R. All right. So when I start, go back to my start of layout, I would like to actually make these two things invisible. So I'm going to set their opacity to zero. Text pause and text press P. Now I'm going to add another event, some key press events. Uh, let's see. So add a new event, keyboard, pressed, R. Uh, copy paste it, change this one to P. Right. So when R is pressed, I'd like to restart the layout. That's a system action. When P is pressed, uh, there's a quick way to do this. I'm going to say set the time scale. Time scale is, uh, well, one is normal speed and zero is paused. To toggle it, the easiest thing to do is say one minus time scale. I'm also going to take my paused and set the opacity. Again, I want to toggle it between 100 and zero. Text paused and text press P. Uh, set opacity. 100 minus own opacity. All right, so that'll enable me to restart the layout and do all those things. Uh, next, when you're first playing the game, this message will be displayed, and I don't want the ball to move quite yet. I'm going to set that to zero. So I'm going to add another event, and this is going to happen when the speed of the ball is zero. And add another condition. I also want to say when you click a mouse button. In that case, I'm going to set the speed, the bullet speed, mind you, to 200. Also, I can get rid of that click to start message. All right. Those are some nice little effects, and we'll actually need one more video to finish them up. See you soon.